In this video, we are going to obtain ninhydrin. Ninhydrin is a reagent used to determine alpha amino acids and reacts with them at pH levels between 4 and 8. The reaction is positive when ninhydrin comes into contact with an amino acid solution, and the color varies between blue and intense violet. In electrophoresis and chromatography, amino acid separation bands can be visualized using ninhydrin. Two reactions are used to obtain ninhydrin. In the first step, 1,3 in Danedian is reacted with nitrous acid. In the second reaction, ninhydrin is obtained by reacting the product formed with formaldehyde and mineral acid. In this operation, we will be careful since formaldehyde and 1,3 in Danedian are very toxic products. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. In the first part of this experiment, we will use a 50 milliliters beaker. Put 15 milliliters of water and slowly add, with stirring, 2.5 grams of concentrated sulfuric acid. We let it cool and add 5 grams of 1,3 and dandelion all at once. Leave to stir for 30 minutes. Prepare a solution of sodium nitrite in 7 milliliters of water while the 1,3 and dandelion is dissolved. After 30 minutes, pour the nitrite solution into an addition funnel that has a needle valve. We slowly add the nitrite solution to the 3 and dandelion solution. Over a 20 minute period, the nitrite solution was added. Once all the nitrite is added, the solution turns orange. We let it stir for 2 hours at room temperature, and the solid turns yellow. Collect the yellow solid by suction and wash it with a little cold water. Allow to dry in an oven at 60 degrees for 12 hours. In the second part of the synthesis, we added 15 milliliters of 35% hydrochloric acid to a 100 milliliters beaker. With stirring, we add 3 grams of the product obtained previously and 7 milliliters of a 37% formaldehyde solution. Stirring for 3 hours at 25 degrees. Dilute with 35 milliliters of water after 3 hours. Stir in for a short period of time and allow it to rest. Filter to separate the solid and wash the solid with a little water. The filtered liquid should be evaporated to a volume of approximately 10 milliliters. We allow it to rest and store it in the refrigerator until it crystallizes. The solid obtained collect is through suction. The product obtained is very thick and difficult to put in the filter funnel. We will use a spatula to transfer it. The product that was obtained should be dried in an oven at 60 degrees. A powder that is brown to red is obtained when it is dried. To get ready the amino acid reagent. First we prepare a 2% ninhydrin solution by dissolving 200 mg in 10 ml of 96% ethanol. In a test tube, we put a little glycine, an alpha amino acid, and dilute it with 10 ml of distilled water. We add about 6 drops of 20% ninhydrin solution and heat it in a water bath for 5 or 10 minutes. If the result is positive, the solution changes color to a deep blue or violet. This test is very sensitive, detecting one part of an amino acid in 1,500,000 parts of water. In instances where the Biorec test is inconclusive, the ninhydrin test is positive. We performing this test with egg white. We add 1 milliliter of egg white to a tube and mix it with 10 milliliters of distilled water. 6 drops of 2% ninhydrin solution are added and placed in a hot water bath. In this test we had to heat longer than with glycine. Then it turns yellow because the egg white contains proline. Proline gives yellow color with the ninhydrin reagent. It does not give violet or blue because the proline have amino group substituted. The egg white coagulates first, as was observed. The heating continued and in the end, the result was positive for alpha amino acid, turning from yellow to intense violet. 
the melting point of Nini Hydron was determined to have a purity of 190 to 220 degrees. The ideal temperature for pure ninhydrin is 251 degrees. The ninhydrin obtained may be contaminated with residues from the reaction. I tried to purify it by recrystallizing it in various solvents, but there was no success. Finally, I was satisfied with the positive result as a reagent for amino acids.